It's live German Masters Snooker in Eurosport, and it's Ronnie O'Sullivan 3 1 up against Mark King. A first four frames full of incident. Elsewhere on Eurosport, it is the Dubai Tour. We're looking forward to that tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. on your cycling channel, Eurosport. This one on Eurosport 2. Okay, in division, so much to get through, guys. But first of all, all five games remain, and then the top half of the draw are in action tonight. So let's bring people up to date with the scores uh, so far. We all know what's going on in our main game. Loads to talk about there. Ryan Day's 3-1 up against Mark Allen. Mark Allen took that first frame. Walden 2-0 up against John Ashley. Zhao Zhengtong racing to 4-0 lead against Akani from Thailand. And it's Tom Ford 3-0 up against Peter Ebden. And before we even get near Ronnie and Mark, that's where we have to start. The maximum man. We had two in qualifying. Tom Ford's give us the first one of the last 32. Yeah, fantastic break. He, he, the green he played, he played it with run inside, so he's really confident. Nice pink near up and down the table, perfect on the black. That's what you want, Neil, don't you, for a yeah. 147? It was just where he wanted to be. It's the kind of shot you can end up on the kitchen, side cushion, bottom cushion. He was never going to miss that. Uh, I've always thought, Jimmy, I don't know what you think, that he's, he's, a really he's got a really good cue ball, lovely break builder, Tom Ford, underrated. Great, great scorer. You know, I don't don't know if he practices as much as he should, but uh, definitely uh, can score heavily in yeah. the balls. It's his three third one four seven yes. in, in term of history. Twenty twelve in the Bulgarian Open, but the best one was ten years ago against Steve Davis at the Grand Prix in Aberdeen. He had gastroenteritis. That's right. He checked himself out of the hospital that day, went and played that night and hit a one four seven. Wow. Huh? Imagine how he'd have been playing if he'd been feeling well. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, so that's been happening in the outside tables. As for tonight, let's look at the first frame. In particular, a really nice shot from Ronnie in that opening frame. Yeah, he, he, he hasn't won the frame yet. He needs to disturb a couple of reds there. Beautiful cannon, two cushions, and the red goes into the left-hand pocket. Fantastic shot. Yeah, you've got to get a lot of topspin on this, haven't you, Jimmy? Because if you don't get the topspin, it swings wide. Absolutely, you've got to create the angle, you yeah. know, and this is just a perfect curing shot, you know. No one hits him better than him. It's a nice shot. It probably won't win shot of the championship, but if we were doing yeah. a fluke of the championship, there was a shot from Mark King. And us amateurs, we love to see a fluke. We like to relive it. So let's take a little look at, uh, at this from Mark King. You, you couldn't do this if you tried a thousand times. Yeah, he's missed it. He, he's not really got going yet. And lucky enough for him, but Ronnie's already out of his chair and he what? flukes the red off the black. Yeah, it's one of those flukes where he, he doesn't continue his break. But of course, more importantly, Ronnie's not back at the table, which he would have been if had it not gone. In. Yeah. It's been really in intriguing. Every frame's had a good story. Mark King came back with a, a really decent break of 81. We were stuck at, at one. On all, in that third frame, Ronnie's safety's been a, a real key, uh, I think, over the opening frames. And there was one shot in particular in frame f uh, three, Jimmy. Yes, yeah, um, this is like, as Neil said in commentary, it's a figure eight shot. Ray Reardon was famous for it. He's played it off one, two, three cushions. Perfectly executed behind the blue. There is a big target there, Neil. There's four colours, but it's still got to be played well. It is, but um, it's behind the blue. He's actually playing, isn't it? The others are there if the shot goes wrong. That's where Ronnie's such a good player. Now, you can't find any weaknesses in his game, really. Mm. And, uh, you know, his safety you don't think about, but it's there. And it, it's, it's a shot play with lots of right-hand side, but... You've got to hit them well on these tables, Jimmy, haven't you? Yeah, you've got, you know, it, it, there's loads of right-hand side there. You can hit them too thin and it can spin yeah. in and out of bulk, but uh, that was a great shot, one in the frame. Well, that got him in, into the league. Going into frame four, it was a really brave safety shot from Mark King, and he looked like he was on his way to Desmond. We were going to come in 2-2 into the mid-session interval. But in a world of cheats and divers... Isn't it great that we see this? Mark King feathered the white. Nobody hardly noticed. None, you know, not notice in commentary. There, there's in the there's only um, Mark King knows he's touched the white. I, I'm known to do that a lot. I queue at the bottom of the cue ball. And we're very proud in our sport that everybody ho owns up to their own fouls. It's just the, the way the game's been, been played. And the Ronnie there um, plays a nice cannon there to make sure he goes 3-1 up in this frame. Yeah, and of course, when Mark did that, Ronnie tapped the table in appreciation, then proceeded to just clear up, which is yeah. Yeah. so part of the game. You know? you've got Absolutely. To, you've got to take advantage, but you know, you've got to feel sorry for Mark King because he's done absolutely nothing wrong except for just get too close to the cue ball, which sometimes you do, actually, when you're hitting the ball quite well. 
Yeah, Anthony Hamilton called it himself in the semi-final of the Northern Ireland Open. We've seen it yeah. again in a, a big game here. He just deserves all the credit mm. in the world. But that literally was a feather, that one. I that, we didn't really see anything move. It's one he just felt it on his cue, as you would do. That's yeah, all. it's only yeah. Mark King knew that yeah. about that. Absolutely. Fantastic stuff from Mark. He's 3-1 down. It's the best of nine first to five. They'll play the finish after the mid-session interval. As Eurosport brings you... Uh, yet again, live coverage of a major snooker tournament. We're at almost all of them throughout the season, and you can see them here with the boys. And every time we come to the tournament, we look through the list to see just how many Chinese players have made it. Some we know, some are newcomers coming in. More and more, of course, the Chinese players are coming through, not just in the qualifying, but they're relocating here, and they're making the main tour last 32s. Here in Germany, we've got Zhang Yong, Zhao Zhang Tong, and the 16-year-old Yang Bing Tao. They've all got to Berlin, and we thought we'd get to know them a little better. I like uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan and uh, John Higgins. Ronnie O'Sullivan and John Higgins. Of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan is my favorite player. Mm, I like uh, mm, Germany venue. Curse is my favorite. I think it's the best venue. I like Germany Master venues. Sheffield. I like Sheffield. Berlin. Uh, London. Yeah. I think I like um, Berlin. Yeah. Just uh, eat some Chinese food. Everything I like. <laughs> Everything. Come back to hotel and get a shower. Uh, call my father. I like uh, basketball, football. I like play football, yeah. Because everyone's children want to be in Jinghui. Because um, a snooker is popular sport now, so many players play good. Well, the footballers are going there, the snooker players are coming here. That's the way it works, Neil. You know, just, just put into perspective how big it is and, and where the potential is for it to continue to grow. Oh, very huge. I mean, uh, it's on school curriculums for older children now. Would you believe they can play snooker as part of their sports education? Would you believe that? I mean, um, we never had snooker tables in schools. We sometimes used to leave school early to go and play snooker. Yeah. It's not at the school. I, I, I don't think Jimmy ever did that. But <laughs> I'm sure Jimmy never missed a day. But, you know, I, I think <laughs> that's, you know, it's serious, it's serious business. They actually do play snooker now. And of course, it used to be table tennis in China, yeah. everywhere, and snooker's everywhere now. I've been to China to schools um, with Steve Davis, and they had two star tables, two nine ball tables, two eight ball tables, and four dart boards. Mm. That was just one of their you know, pastimes in their playtime. Fantastic. So we'll continue to get to know these new names and, yeah. you know, try and bring them into the snooker family as, as much as possible. I know they have somewhere in China, don't they, an exact replica of the Crucible, brick by brick? Yeah, I think it's been uh, finished in March. Um, I think, um, I'm not absolutely sure, but I think O'Sullivan is involved with the people who are building that. So hopefully um, they get that together and hold some big tournaments there. Absolutely. Now, Jimmy, it's been quite a, a 24 hours, 36 hours for you. Brilliant. You even made it here. You had a, a nine-frame game t today to play against Robin Hill, which you lost 5-4. We know you lost your, your house yesterday. And uh, just a bit of perspective, I suppose, because you, you, you come here, we were all really down for you. Yeah. And you've came here with a smile on your face. I can't believe it. Uh, listen, I, I, you know, I'm devastated, you know, I'm, I'm just so pleased that there was no one injured and it's, uh, you know, it's a really, it was a really bad fire and thank God all the neighbours were okay and, uh, you know, I am, I'm, I'm gutted about that but I've just heard the news that uh, Ching Jong Wei just lost his mum. Mm. Um, a day or so ago, you know, so all of all of us players um, go out for him and his family, and uh, it puts it a bit in perspective, really. You know, yeah, you've got to get on with it, don't you? Absolutely, does well said, Jimmy. Here, here, uh, coming up after the break, of course, we're going to see Ronnie O'Sullivan against Mark King through to uh, finish. Never before is the phrase; it's only a game uh, made so much sense. We're back in a couple of seconds. Berlin continues to take her breath away and snooker for five days a year is a real hit here in Germany's capital city. 
And it's Ronnie O'Sullivan 3-1 up at the mid-session against Mark King, mainly due to a wonderful bit of sportsmanship from Mark King. Fantastic to see it. And as the players come back out, we'll take this through to a finish now. The new phones and Dave Henry.